back on Creek 300. Just doing a solo mission here by myself today. So I'm back at work in this cobble bed right through here. Just working this hard pan. Try to do some test pans here. Let's try to set up that bazooka. Get it going. Not bad first pan. Got about six or seven colors in here. I'm gonna let's it see if it'll show up on this camera. I'm trying to sample different parts of this cobble bed here. Trying to see if I can find any sort of pay streak. We're still working the uh, cobble bed back here. Just taking shovel loads and just running it down the bazooka here. Get a little deeper, starting to find some pretty massive rocks down in here. See a little bit of color to your lead shot. That's good. Just need to find me a nice little picker. That'd make my day. So I've been running this bazooka for about an hour or so. Kind of going back and forth, uh, do a shovel load or two, and maybe do a pan. Just trying to keep an eye on the uh, trap there. Make sure it's processing like it should. Don't want it to clean out too quick. 
and just try to make sure it's not getting packed up either. Do the old finger test, I guess is what you could call that. Just try to make sure it's good and loose in there. It seems like it's working like it should. Because you get those longer rocks in there. I know Astro Bouncer's talked a lot about that. That's the reason it's good to have the uh, hardware cloth on the Grizzly when you're shovel feeding the bazooka. It seems like it's working like it should. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this pan over here and I think I'll do a clean out. Time to clean out the bazooka. Clean out that V-mesh first and then I'll shake it to get all the material out of the trap. You can even use this bucket as a pan and get all those lights and a lot of those bigger rocks out of there. Start to see black sand. Better be careful. <laughs> Don't want to lose any color.